Hello, I'm head forecaster Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz with your global top five weather extremes for this week. We thought rather than just focusing on today, why don't we take a look at the really big systems that are impacting a number of places for the next several days. So we're doing that and we kick off with number one with a tropical storm in the Western Pacific, right here at the very top of the Philippines and just south of Taiwan. It is heading due west and straight back into the areas that have just had tropical storms dumping a lot of rain. So it's more of a rain event at this stage. It is not uh, a typhoon. It could become one though. So it is called Kompasu, which I believe is Japanese for compass, which is quite a cool name. Although I've got to say, there's another storm over here that's actually just made landfall near Hanoi. And this one's called um, Lion Rock. So, I mean, that has got to be the coolest name of any tropical storm this year, Lion Rock. But that one's falling apart, dropping rain though in Vietnam and Laos. Kompasu could become a typhoon here, south of Hong Kong, as it tracks in towards more populated places. It does look as though it'll weaken again as it makes landfall. So just like all the other storm systems, it's another big rainmaker, which increases the chance of flooding and slips and landslides across big portions of Vietnam and going, in fact, even potentially going further into other parts like Thailand as well. At the moment, the storm has winds averaging 100 k's an hour or 60 miles per hour and gusting to 120 kilometers an hour. Number two on our list, well, this takes us over to Mexico, where we've got another storm forming. Now, this one's in the eastern Pacific Ocean. We don't talk a lot about storms usually in this part of the world, but this one here is an interesting one to track. Hawaii, way over here, not impacted by it. This one's more likely to go northwards and actually make landfall in Mexico itself in the days ahead. So this is at the end of the week, around Thursday. What a difference, right? So this storm is going to become, by the looks of it, a significant hurricane as it moves in. At the time of recording this, it didn't have a name and it wasn't yet a hurricane, but this one is going to make landfall somewhere around the western side of Mexico. And in fact, this area in here, just at a quick sort of look at population numbers, you're talking over a million, maybe getting up towards two million people in harm's way with this storm coming through. So one to keep an eye on, category two is the current forecast. It does fall apart very quickly, but if you live in Texas, I'd be keeping a close eye on conditions because even though it'll fall apart, Texas is just there. I think you'll end up with some big tropical thunderstorms coming through after that storm has made landfall. Number three on our list. Now this one is extreme, but not necessarily dramatic by the way of looking at it, because this is the animated wind map, and you might have noticed there's not much animation going on. Well, that's because all the way from the United Kingdom, right across Europe, across Russia, and across Asia, we have got a huge area of high pressure. We've squeezed it into the screen, which is why it looks very tall in England at the moment, but we've done that because I wanted to show you how much high pressure is covering this map, all the way from uh, you know, over here towards Korea and Japan, across China, and then across a large portion of Russia, going into Europe and right out over to Ireland. So that area is 9,000 kilometers across, over 5,000, 5,500 miles across. That is a huge area of high pressure. That's how this week starts. This is how it ends. It doesn't change very much. This is Friday, still showing huge amounts of high pressure right across uh, Asia, Europe. And by the way, we do have a low forming down here around Italy. So something to talk about, something a little bit different. And that takes us to number four with a new low pressure zone around Italy. Now, we just had that incredible event last week that dumped well over 700 millimeters, 29 inches in 12 hours. Unbelievable. You know, places like where I'm from in New Zealand, like Auckland, has annual rainfall of about 1200 millimeters. So that is, you know, that's more than half of our annual rainfall. So that's what fell in Italy. So we've got this new low this week, and it doesn't look overly dramatic when you look at it on the air pressure maps, as you can see just here. It is parked in the southern areas as we go through the next few days. Uh, southern parts of Italy are more likely to get it, even Malta getting windy weather. Uh, we've got parts of Algeria, um, also getting that northerly wind, which is nearly gale force as it comes out of France, by the way. But 
most of that's out at sea in the Mediterranean. Italy itself, low pressure, a bit of rain, a few thunderstorms, not as dramatic as the system you just had. And number five on our map is actually to do with low pressure forming across America and tracking up to Canada where there is high pressure at the moment. So we show you the animation. It might be a little hard to kind of see it. You see a small low to begin with, but a bigger low here coming through in the days ahead, tracking across the Midwest or Tornado Alley, really. Everyone knows what you're talking about when you say Tornado Alley. So this is going into parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan and to Canada as well. But this is the main feature. So expect snowstorms through the Rocky Mountains, a big temperature drop as that system moves through. And then there'll be thunderstorms and downpours on the southeastern side of it into the warmer states. So that's your first taste of winter, really, I think, at least for the Rocky Mountains and the states up here into the northwest. Before I go, the image of the day takes us down to where I am. I'm here in Auckland, New Zealand, but I wanted to show you the South Pacific Islands. Someone on YouTube the other day asked, why do you never talk about us? Well, to be honest, if we're not talking talking about places, it's usually because there's not a lot going on. But at the moment, low pressure is forming. So here is Tonga. Uh, if you go further to the east, you've got Rarotonga and low pressure all in this zone is forming. That's going to be the main feature actually at the moment. Samoa up here to the north, Fiji over here, a southerly flow coming into Fiji thanks to high pressure north of New Zealand and south of New Caledonia and over in Vanuatu and parts of the Solomon Islands easterly winds continue on for you. But this high pressure zone, driving in a slightly cooler airflow into places like Tonga and Fiji, but for New Zealand, bringing down that mild subtropical wind ahead of a big southerly, a big wintry southerly on the way for parts of southern New Zealand. That is all from me. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back again on Wednesday with our next top five weather extremes around the globe.